It's Tuesday morning and it's T minus. We don't know how many hours because they haven't left yet until everybody arrives. We have a lot more baking to do today and prep work. And we've got these two who are overjoyed with excitement. So just a matter of hours before they get here. What are you doing? I'm gonna sit here until the cousins come. I'm gonna stay here in the spot. <laughs> you know it's gonna be like hours, right? Yes, I know that. We are four hours and counting until our guests arrive. I have been working on getting our Thanksgiving stuff, keep working down on my checklist. I went and did our final grocery haul today and it was crazy out there. <laughs> now I am working on getting my um, homemade chicken stock or um, my homemade broth that I use in our stuffing. And all I've done guys is I'll show you. I have put a ton of vegetables. I've got carrots, celery, and mushrooms in a stock pot. And then what I've done at the store, I went ahead and bought turkey necks, chicken wings, and also hearts and gizzards. And I have roasted them in the oven. I drizzled them with olive oil and then I put some onions and garlic on there and I've also put salt and pepper. And I let those roast for about 30 minutes. And now I'm gonna add that to my stock pot as well. Once I get that added, I will add about four quarts of water and then I've got a few more ingredients that I'll add and I'll let that simmer for two hours. The reason why I roast these first is because the flavor that you get and we'll also pour all the juices in our pot so we get some good flavor. So I've got all of the chicken and the turkey neck, all the gizzards and livers and hearts in the pot. And we're gonna add water. We're gonna add 16 cups of water or four quarts. We've put some peppercorn. We're gonna put thyme, fresh thyme, and fresh parsley in there. And then we're gonna just add some salt and let it simmer for a couple hours. All right, we are almost on our way out the door to swim team practice. The cousins are gonna be arriving just as we get home from swim team. And I wanna show you guys how we're set up. So in Lincoln's room, we do a lot of camping in the summer, especially now that we live in Colorado. We have these really cool camping cots that we use in our tent and they're stackable. So we've got those set up and then Lincoln, of course, will sleep here. And we've got another person sleeping down here. And then Sarah's bringing two air mattresses. We'll set up probably the younger boy, younger Eli, downstairs with mom and dad. And then we come through here and we have the girls' room. We have another camping cot set up for Tori right here. And then Belle and Kenya are gonna, and we're making Kenya's bed right now, but Belle and Kenya are going to share Kenya's bed. And then Noelle will sleep downstairs also on the extra air mattress that Sarah brings. We got two play pins set up in Sarah and Solo's room that they're staying in for Hope and Destiny. So that's what we got. One more thing that I did is for each of the kids, I got a Colorado hat and some chapstick because here in Colorado your lips get really chapped very easily and I just wanted them to each have something to remember visiting Camp David by. These are the girls hats. These are the boys. So we're really excited. Can't wait. <laughs> Oh, you won't get to see him first if you're hiding. Oh, hi, Eli. Yeah, 
<laughs> I like your little GoPro. It's cool. Because it doesn't do that. Cameras Mascot everywhere. Challenge. There are cameras everywhere. It's Luca's favorite. Okay. <laughs> you can do multiple angles. Hey, yeah. And what? I see you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Oh, wait. Did you see our girls' sneakers? No. Right there. Oh, I heard about that's my little baby. Sushi's double up again. No, sushi. Double up again. Sushi Oreo David. Yeah, sushi Oreo. Sorry, love again. I already knew you wouldn't name a kid. Kenya, as soon as Belle saw that vlog, she started giggling. She goes. Well, if her last name is Snuffleupagus and her first child is Sushi, it's Sushi Snuffleupagus. <laughs> 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 Just a couple, cut. just a couple. Oh. Your help for Ursula and Mary Poppins. I need some more sour <laughs> Hey, good people, how we doing? <laughs> okay. Do you have your mascots prepared? Yes. yes. Okay, we'll discuss this in a minute. The first challenge is chopped challenge. You guys need to designate a head master chef to your team right now. The challenge tonight is dessert. Oh, yes! Yes! My favorite. Mm -hmm. The items in your basket are oh, yeah. Ghirardelli double chocolate brownie mix. Oh, brownie mix, that's easy. Scooby snacks, or otherwise known as Paw Patrol snacks. <laughs> <laughs> dried dragon fruit. Wait, what's dried dragon fruit? Well, you guys will have to try it and see. And ice cream sandwiches. Yo! Yeah! Three judges. Oh no. I don't want to judge. Three judges. I've done this before. It's not fun. There are paper plates you can use for your presentation. If you need something, please raise your hand and I will assist you to where it is in the kitchen. Does everybody understand? All right. Yes. 
You have 20 minutes. What? On your mark, get set. If you need the directions to the brownies, it's on here. You're the chef. Okay, you don't, no, it's, no, like, no, you're the chef. You have to figure out how to use okay. that ingredient. Where is the mug? I know where it is. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we need a mug. Gut chopping. No, we need one more. Oh. Ah! Oh, sorry. I was opening the cabinet. Hey, you ran hey, my hey, go. Could we do more than one, one set? Everybody slow down. <laughs> Could we do There's more than one set? And then I do a knock on the set and I'll do a Okay, oh, give me ideas. Try it, okay? Michael, try one of these. Uh, okay, what? Eat the whole thing. Okay. So, I'm right. going to do it either like this. Okay. Like this, like on the top and on the bottom. Do the sour? Or what? Sour? Because this is kind of weird. Because this is smash them. Melt them all together and put them inside the No, that's not too easy. Hold on. Hold on. Like, amazing. Oh, my God. And then, we only want to I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll try it. We'll make it thicker with this stuff. I'll try it. 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 What are you making? I don't know. <laughs> oh, girl, it looks like mud. What are you making? We are making, we are making a surprise. Here, here. If you stir, ow. Don't stir it, don't stir it. I don't know what is going on over here, but I don't think it's going to taste very good. They're plating already. Yes, we are. What? Oh. That, that's, it's that's not hot. We have a salt gun. First up is the boys team. Boys, um, you need to come and first of all tell us about your dish. Please go ahead and set it in front of us and then tell us about your dish. Sorry, they are different. What? They're different. Alright, the master chef needs to explain. They smell good. They are a little hot. Tell us about your dish, please. And what's the name of it? Brownie. The brownie special. Mud that tastes special. Mud that tastes special. Okay, and... Okay. We need to know. Oh, I got a try it for Oh, oh, I need allergies. <laughs> Wait, does Alex all look the same? No, definitely not. So uh, you have to take a bite the same time. <laughs> 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 So all you do is say it needs some salt. <laughs> <laughs> dishes um however in mine i like how moist it is and you can taste the graham crackers but i'm missing the dragon fruit how did you use the dragon fruit 
We need two cups. We melted. <laughs> we scraped off the ice sand from the ice cream sandwiches and melted it. it okay, it needs to come through a little bit. Lincoln, are you alright? Alright, mine has a good flavor. <laughs> mine it tastes like puke. <laughs> it has a good flavor, but it has the consistency of snot. <laughs> I can't eat it. Now, my question is, how did you know the consistency of that in your mouth? The Oreo cheesecake is really my It better be. Judah, I am questioning why I let you do the green bean casserole. So, let's critique. Hold on. My critique was... They're losing right now. <laughs> the Oscars. The cup. The presentation matters. No, the presentation, yeah. No. Okay. Anything about the food? No, this one is like... This uh, is actually good. This it's doesn't like taste too bad, but... Uh, <laughs> no, it tastes yeah. like a lot of uh, brownie it's plus bad. like... Uh, just a uh, flour or something. Uncooked. <laughs> uncooked flour. Girls team is next. I say yeah. this is the best. Camera over here. <laughs> It's not that bad. They're making it up. <laughs> Sometimes. Wait, what's it called? Yeah. It's called the icy hot crumble. <laughs> All right, tell us about your dish. Well, we yeah. pretty much smushed up the ice cream bars. The, the, ice the boys cream. put ice cream in theirs? Yeah, yeah mine so. definitely has it, some. The mix was <laughs> on the bottom and then it layered on. Ice was that the <laughs> snot, <laughs> snotty part? <laughs> we put the ice cream at the bottom like all like... We sort of mushed it up. Smush. We so. smushed it up with a spoon. We put it all on the bottom. Then we put on the fr the brownie or whatever. And then we sprinkled on those cookie things exactly. and put on the brownie. Well, we, yeah, we right. used the... Also, we did put the... the Stuff. We put it at the sprinkle and we also put it in cookie dough. And we all no, we put the sprinkle, we put the cookie, the graham cracker as a sort of like a crust and all in the It's also inside of it. In the thing. And we oh, also they're, they're put it as a sprinkle. It. They're eating it. So, so I was like, this is not bad. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, What's the consistency, it. Sarah? I like that. <laughs> What's that salty? <laughs> oh, I don't want to try that. That's really better. better. <laughs> That's better. 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 I like the fact that you guys layered it. And I like the fact that I've got some cool in there with the ice cream. It's creamy. But yet, you guys on the brownie, it's more like a cookie texture. And I think that's why I like it. Actually, the brownie to me is like yeah. a rock. It's like <laughs> <laughs> a rock. It's like you're eating a cookie, and okay. then the drink is great. Mine's very good. Mine is very good. Very good. But <laughs> no, it's good. And the but dragon fruit gives it crunch and. Of... No, it tastes like a brownie and ice cream, only a little more con cookie consistency, but mostly brownie and ice cream. All right, so. It's good. I want it to be awesome. my own thing. It's no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to announce the winner. The winner is uh, not the snot. <laughs> girls. The girls win with 25 points. The boys get 15. All right, tell us about your mascot. Whoa. This is... <laughs> You can see now, right? It's Slama the Freedom Llama. <laughs> <laughs> see her handcuffs? See her handcuffs? Essentially, yeah. Wait, so, why is she wearing handcuffs? Because they're broken. broken. Slama the Freedom Llama? <laughs> Sorry, did you hear their name of their mascot? Yeah. Slama, oh, and yeah. the key of the handcuffs, her power is that she can break through, get through anything, just like Jesus. What? Yeah, so we realized her motto is freedom is the key. Because she has a key. Wait, where's her head thing? Oh, it keeps falling. Alright, good job. Stitch is power is it can lift three thousand pounds. It's Wait. And, um, this is its. It talks really, really loud. And Hi! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that toilet paper? No, or it's always really. It's an 
napkin. Oh. And what's in the napkin? And what's the motto? Um, two less hands. When did that use your muscles? <laughs> <laughs>